Hi, friends. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel Gaviola, and on the tabletop right now is Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs. This is a new game from Cephalo Fair Games, who has sponsored this stream. I'm recording this live on Twitch during my birthday stream. Uh, be sure to click the links below to find out when you can follow me and uh, watch me uh, do the streams live on Twitch. I do it several times a week, and right now we're going to be playing the first scenario of Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs. Uh, so it starts with some text. And that shrinking feeling. Okay. We're going to find out what is going on here. That shrinking feeling. What a time for Gloomhaven. First, a black tornado from the void nearly destroyed the city. Then there were reports of the very essence of corruption trying to end everything. But all's well that ends well. At the center of both events, Hale, a mysterious Esther who lives in a derelict tavern, the Crooked Bone. It is said she can turn anyone into a hero, exactly what you want to be. Sure, you don't have a lot of training, but put in front of the right adventure, you get the acclaim that is due to you. So, with that bold purpose, you step across the threshold of the Crooked Bone and... No, that's not right. Everything is growing. Why is the doorway so large? Why are you so... small? Is this some sort of Aster enchantment? You've been shrunk! Play Scenario 1, A Rude Welcome. So what that is, is you take the Scenario 1 card and, let's see, put that back in Scenario deck. And, um, yeah, this is it, the Rude Welcome. So let me see, uh, this is Play Scenario 1, Rude Welcome. Get some sweat. Wait, am I supposed to read this? <laughs> I've had way too much coffee. Uh, remember last weekend, this past weekend, back, I had too much coffee. I've had too much coffee. I think I am supposed to read this, and then we play the scenario. Okay, Rude Welcome gets some fancy gear there, nice and tight. Well, we're going to play, because it's on the back side here, uh, the Rude Scenario. As you can see, for those of you familiar with Gloomhaven, uh, this is very much a Gloomhaven in a little small package. Uh, so, I'm going to put some cubes out here. These are the uh, baddies we have to deal with here. Um, here is us. Okay. And what do we have? Do we have another bandit guard? We have a bandit archer. Um, this is going to tell you exactly what type of monsters are supposed to be there. What is, this is, so, bad, monsters is a bandit guard, defeat all monsters. Okay, so one and two, and then this here, okay, that's that, and, um, I love this. The little learn to play, it's just as small as everything else. I mean, this is, how cool is this? Um, so the bandit guard. Uh, you have one there, and then you're going to have, let me see, you set the band on maximum hit points as shown on their monster card on the hit points that match their cube color. Okay, so we have uh, eight here. Um, and then another eight for the mo bandit. So, do, 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 where is this? Eight. Eight and eight. Okay. One and three. Oh, two. Duh. Where's the eight? Oh, no, that one's cool. All right. So we'll do this one there. Uh, this is modifiers. Uh, there's our little mini. Look how tiny that is, folks. Jeremiah Blah. Hello. Como esta? Um, we are going to start the scenario by showing you all first. Uh, these are the action cards. Uh, these are the starters. And in... In Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs, what you're doing is playing these. And just like in Gloomhaven, you're going to select two cards. And then you will choose um, cards to... Uh, you're going to choose your initiative, right? So this is 32, 54. <laughs> you're going to choose which one you're going to go first. And then you may do the top or bottom, depending. But one card is going to be played your top, and the other is going to have to be uh, bottom. And depending on your initiative, we're going to find out here. We're going to roll for... The monsters and uh, see what they um how fast they go depending on what they roll uh you're going to move this cube it's, if it's a plus a circle or a minus uh, you're going to move that cube and that's going to be um that's going to tell you what actions they do okay here's their hit points here we've got we start on the map here so our goal is let me take this off our goal is to defeat all monsters okay and they have eight hit points each blue and green there's my starter and just like in Gloomhaven, you've got movement, you've got um, attacks, 
Uh, there's all kinds of stuff here. I mean, if you play Gloomhaven before, you'll you will recognize a lot of this stuff. Uh, but it's done in a way that's very accessible, and um, then you can short rest and long rest and, and whatnot as well. All right, so why don't we start? And let's see, I have, let's see, Bruiser is my character. Uh, level 1, max hit points is 12. So yes, you will be leveling up in this game as well, folks. So let me move this over here. I've got my cards. Here are all the different monsters and stuff. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but then uh, this can change as well, depending on monsters and so forth. This is the standard. Move this here. Do the hit points there. So green and blue. Okay. I'm going to hydrate. Again, we are doing this live on Twitch, folks. So come on over uh, next time when we're live. You can follow the links uh, in the show notes and you'll find out where and when I stream. All right. So thanks for all the birthday wishes as well, folks. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm going to play. Let's see. We've got Warding Strength, Leaping Cleave, and Shield Bash, uh, and Spare Dagger. So this is a move. Okay. And a strike, three strike. So let's see. Hmm. Right, spare Dagger is good. I'm going to be able to move. So you cannot move through um, obstacles, right? So I go one, two, three. I can get there and start striking that one. Or I can go down here, one, two, and start striking there. So let's see. Where's our movement? And of course, you can do just the basic movement or the basic hits as well. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Yes, I, yeah, I can go to the bar next year uh, for my next birthday. Thank you, uh, Kimma. <laughs> okay, this is a shield here. Um, this is another shield. Shield bash is a good one. I can move. So maybe I want to move. Uh, this can move up to four. So one, two, three, up to four. So go there with this to move. And then this one to bash, leaping cleave. And um, I, I, I've forgotten some of these... Um, things already and I just want to make sure um, that <clears throat> I believe that's a range attack as well because it is a leaping cleave so I can go um, one further is that right there's the pierce which uh, goes through the shields and stuff gray okay so the relative okay so leaping cleave at least one target must be within range but the area can be rotated okay so I could oh man Kim says you're it's funny when you're young all you want to do is be older when you're younger all you want to do is go back with what you know now birthdays are funny yeah isn't it true so true okay there's push there's uh end of round bonuses so initial value um let's go with shield bash I like that because I get a shield and I get to hit um so it protects me and then the bottom, so that'll be my top. I can use the bottom for four. Or, let's see, this one gives me three. Hmm. I can move. Oh, no, this is the range attack. Range attack, if I can get range, I can just shoot at it. Yeah. I feel like I want to move. Three movement. This is two shield. Um, I do have 12 hit points, and they have eight each. So. Um, hmm. It's sort of like this range attack. Okay. So, I mean, this is uh, this is what I love. It's it's mini Gloomhaven. It's still got that sense of, oh, what do I do? Because as you use these cards, folks, you're gonna these cards are gonna recycle. Uh, then you're gonna go to the B side, um, and then eventually you're gonna once you start using the B side, you're gonna discard these. So you're running out of actions as you as as the game progresses, and uh, if the game's too long, you're out of cards, and that's not a good thing. You do not want to be there uh, with no cards, right? Um, okay. We're going to go with Shield Bash. And then the other one I want to do is... Oh, I can do movement or I can... Uh, yeah, I think Leaping Cleave might be a good one as well. Do we want to do Leaping Cleave? What is that symbol there? That is the... 
uh, jump so I can go through hazards as well. Okay, so I'm going to do 15 and 54. So my initiative is going to be 15. And then we roll for baddies. They've got a minus, so they're going to go at 30, but I am first. So what do I want to do first, friends? Um, I can do this and jump. I can jump through hazards and obstacles. So I'll do one, two, three. No need for me to jump. Um, so I'm doing Dunleafing Cleave, the bottom for that. And then I'm going to bash with three. So uh, one, two, three, I'm going to attack. And this is your modifier. I roll this. It's a minus. So minus one. So I've got three minus one is two. So I do two hits. Uh, they do have a persistent shield. So I only get one hit on them down to seven. And then every time you do this after an attack, you just move it down. So it's going to change as you go. Okay, you can see the different modifiers. Uh, there's the good old null, there's the two times, and then the plus ones and so forth. All right, so now uh, I've done my actions. I'm going to flip these over to side B, and they come, come back to my hand. And again, once I use side B, they're out of the game, folks. All right, uh, let's do the monsters. They're operating on here. Uh, so they've got two movement, one hit, and uh, one shield as well. So uh, they want to move as close as they can to me. They cannot go through hazards. So one, two for that monster. Uh, this one is, whoops, right next to me. So they're going to hit for one. Do I have a shield? I do not have a shield. Did I play a shield? Um, yeah, with the shield bash. So they're one. Um, oh, do, do I have to roll? I forget. Do I? Yes, for the monsters. I have to roll here. Their modifier is a plus. Darn it. So plus one uh, to their plus one attack is two. Um, I do have a shield here in my shield bash. Where, where was it? Right there. So one only. Then this moves down. Okay. So I lose damage. And then the second one, uh, they're going to move the two. They cannot reach me. So boom. End of turn one, folks. All right, let's go. Um, so this has been returned to my hand, side B. I do not want to use these yet because then they're out of the game. Let's see if I can do spare dagger. I can punch for three. And this one's a shield for two. And I could do the two movement as well. But no, I'm going to do these two. It's a 27 and 32. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's do that. And then let me move this over here. Okay. And then let's see what they go. They're going at a plus. So they got 70. And I've got a 27. So I'm going to go first. Um, I'm going to punch for three here. Or do I want to do... What is this one here? That is the symbol for Pierce. Ooh. I like this. This one here is an attack with Pierce ignores an amount of the target shield bonus up to the value. So I can ignore at least one shield here, which is cool. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, let me do my attack modifier, which is a minus. Darn it. So minus one. So I've got a two. Minus one is one, but I do have a Pierce. So one damage is going to get through that shield. Okay. The other one, no good. And then... So that's done. This one here, so I did the top half of that. I do the bottom half here, which is a shield. Yeah. Okay. Uh, their modifier is a plus. Dang it. Oh, so I got to move mine down. They've got a plus uh, two. So this one first, uh, they're doing four and a two movement. They're right next to me. So four and two movement. Um, I've got two shield from here. So only two damage. Whoops, down to nine. Oh, this is 10, nine. Flip it over. Okay. And then um, that's the first monster. Then the second monster, they're going to move two. Uh, let's see, they're here. One, two. Taking the shortest route to me. And they cannot attack. And I believe that is it. Uh, this goes down one. That's what they got. These return on my hand. Man, I gotta. Do I have to rest? Maybe I should rest. Um, 
where's the rest? There's a short rest and a long rest. Just like, okay, you can perform a short rest at the end of the round. Uh, when you do return all cards from your discard pile to your hand and flip them to the air side, then you lose one card at random. Ooh. I can long rest. So I'll take initiative 99, return all cards from your uh, discard pile to your hand, then lose one card of your choice. Ooh. I don't know about that. Well, we shall see. Let's see what I got here. I've got Fist, which is big old punchy punch. Um, retaliate. That's the retaliate maneuver, which is nice. Get to punch back there. Um, overwhelming assault is nice. Unstoppable charge, I like. That's four hits. And then. Okay, I can add plus one to all my attacks this round. That's cool. Okay. I can heal. I've got the skewer as well. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Um, wow. What do I do, folks? Um, it's an interesting decision to make here, right? Like, what do you want to do? You're going to lose these cards if you don't take a rest. i I got to take a rest um, at the end of the round. I can long rest. Um, I should have short rested. Okay. Uh, I'm going to long rest. Bring these cards back into my hand and I heal. Um, heal plus two. So I'm back up to 11. Okay. There's the long rest. Uh, now I am, uh, because of the long rest, I'm at initiative 99 right now. So I'm going to go last. Um, or they're going to do their thing. So zero goes back here. And so they're going to move one and attack two. Uh, let's do their modifier. So zero, so plus zero. Let's move down. Okay, so um, I don't do anything. This moves down here. And uh, they're going to do a, one movement and two hits. So two hits here. Um, do I have a ongoing shield? I do not have a shield. So I'm going to lose two points there, down to nine. And then the other one's going to move two spaces close to me. One, two. So now I'm surrounded. Now I'm surrounded, but I have all my cards back. So maybe we do the punchy punches. Um, overwhelming Assault and Skewer. You know what I should have done? And again, hindsight's twenty twenty. After I played my A cards, uh, discard that I should have done a short rest. Because then I could flip them over to the A side, but I would lose a card at random. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do a six hit. I want to take out this monster. Let's see if I can do this. So I'll do... Uh, what do I want to do? Six. I'll place these two here. Six. Where's all the damage? All the all adjacent enemies. Ooh, is that the one that gives me extra punchy punches for adjacents? If only the number is given, you can target up to that many within the... Oh, I like that. Yeah. I can target all the others. Okay. All right. We're going to do that. Uh, let's uh, find out initiative. So let's roll for... the. It's either 61 or 86. So. They're going here, so they're going 30, and yeah, either way they go before me. Um, they're going to do two movement, one punch, and they have one shield. So, uh, one punch. I don't have any shield. Okay, so I'm going to take one from this guy, one from that guy, so I'm down to seven. Now it's my turn. Um, 
Oh, and I guess I should, I forgot to roll their modifier. It is a zero, so nothing there. Okay, that was for the first one. So um, I took a damage, right? And then I have to do it for the second one. Same thing, zero, so plus zero. Okay. Um, did I do the damage already? I think I did. I was at uh, nine, uh, one each. So yeah, we're good. Now it's my turn. Uh, this is a, uh, attack um, all adjacent enemies uh, with the target. An ability with the target specifies the target or target's effective. Only number is given. You target that many uh, enemies. It attacks all adjacent enemies. So that's six folks uh, coming right now at you. Uh, first, I have to roll my modifier. It's a zero, so plus zero. This moves down. Uh, so six going there. Uh, they've got a shield, so five plus this shield here. Uh, four, so four damage to this guy, down to two. And then, um, then this one here, you got to roll modifier first. That was a skew. Okay, there's that, zero, so nothing there. Move it down. So it's another six, and they've got the shield and the persistent shield, so four, so they're down to four here. Okay. Doing a little better. They're getting beat up a little bit. Um, all right. And then these go away. So instead, I've used the B cards. Let's see, this is where I should have done that short rest after the A sides. Um, they're discarded. They could never be recovered. So I need to make something happen here, folks. This is it. I've got two cards left here. This is sort of scary. I think about it. I do have this retaliate. I do have a heal. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, man. Can I do this? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, my gosh. No. Am I not going to be able to do this? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Persistent bonuses. This is a persistent. I need... The, oh, I need the punching. Okay. I can do this here. Persistent bonus can stay in your active area. Oh, no. Oh, I, I think I'm going to fail. No, I can't fail. Oh, that's a bummer. Yep, totally. Yeah, as we're watching live, folks, um, on YouTube, yeah, this is totally, totally uh, the um, Gloomhaven Tiny Edition, right? Tiny, Tiny Epic Edition, basically. The action economy in Gloomhaven, right? That's exactly what we're looking at. Oh, what a bummer. Because here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm down on my last two cards. I was not paying attention. I should have taken a short rest earlier in order to uh, get my cards back in my hand. I would have lost a card, but I would have had at least one more card here. So why don't we go through the motions here? I've got a three. I'm going to do the 30. Well, let's see. Let's roll theirs first. Uh, they've got an O. So they're going at initiative 50, which means I can go either one. Um, I'm doing 35. So I go first. Man. Um, oh, let me see these symbols here. We've got, uh, so it's a three punch, so I could conceivably take them out here, right? So three minus their shield one, that's two. Yeah, I could take out the blue. It's this green one here. Um, man, what are these symbols here? What are this means? Uh, let me look at it a little closer. Ah. Uh -huh. This is... Uh, the wind can empower some effects. Oh, okay. As long as the infusion card is visible in your hand, active area, one area, it can be consumed each round. The option to consume is represented by the effect by the colon. So if I consume this, I'll get an additional hit and or a punch, right? And then... I do the pierce this is a uh, attack with pierce so I can get two more punches so maybe we can get away with that attack with a pierce ignores the amount of shield okay so we can definitely punch through something but I I don't know if I have enough uh punching to I don't know if I have enough punching basically so I can get one attack yeah I, I have the one attack ah this is so brutal so let's just, okay, I'm going to do this attack first so I find my modifier. 
uh, minus. So it's going to be, mi oh, it's minus two, really, for this one. So minus two, move that up. And then I have a three minus two is one. But I can consume this for one, so that's two. They have uh, one shield, so it's going to do one damage. I'm going to do this, uh, the skewer, which gets them down to zero. Okay, so this one is gone, the blue one. But here's the thing, that was my attack. That's it. That card is gone. I've got this one card. I've got to do the action down here, which is heal self two. So I'm at nine strength, but that card goes away. I'm left with no more cards. I have not... Oh, darn it, folks. That is scenario one of um, learn to, uh, the uh, Gloomhaven buttons of books. I'm, I'm just like stunned. I was like, I thought I had it. I thought this was going to be easy. No. As you can see, uh, just like a regular Gloomhaven, there is a puzzly element to this game. You cannot go and think, oh, I'm just going to go bash, bash, bash. You got to think it out and uh, see, figure out your moves and see, uh, you know, handling the cards in the right way. I should have taken that short rest to get some of my cards back. I would have. So short rest, you lose one of the A cards, but it comes one of them goes back to your hand. So at least I had another card, which is exactly what I needed. I need that one more card uh, for the next round, hopefully to uh, defeat the baddies. So thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing scenario uh, two as well. I'm going to play through uh, two scenarios. Uh, you'll have to watch that on the separate YouTube video because I record this live and then I edit stuff for the interwebs on YouTube. So uh, thank you again for watching. I want to thank... Uh, Gloomhaven, uh, Buttons and Bugs, uh, Cephalo Fair Games for send, coming on over and sponsoring my channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.